Hey friends, thanks for joining me here at Non-Toxic Home. You might be wondering why I'm taking you on a walk through the woods. Well, it's not really a walk through the woods. This is north of our house. We have an announcement to make. We're doing something that we hadn't planned to do. Never anticipated doing it. Never even thought about it, quite frankly. <laughs> this area here. My husband um, has worked about all day digging a hole <laughs> south of our house for a natural pool or a natural pond, whatever you want to call it. The dirt is being used here to raise this level so we can un install a septic line to tie into our septic because we have a three bedroom septic and a one bedroom home. If you even want to call it a one bedroom because it's all one room except for the bathroom. We're also going to tie in over here to our water line and we're gonna run an internet line out here. We're gonna do this because we have a canary friend turned client who needs a safe place. Mold is serious business, friends. There is no such thing as no big deal when it comes to mold. She also has a latex allergy, corn allergy, likely mast cell activation syndrome, but unconfirmed. Very seriously chemically sensitive. That's actually the trailer out there that we're going to build on. I can't go near it because I'm allergic to the tires and we haven't treated the tires with vinegar yet and they're pretty new tires. Um, the area here, my husband's going to build up with soil. <laughs> you can't even get clean soil anymore. Like if you order clean top fill, what you get is going to be contaminated chemically. I ordered... I think it was in March of this year, a very small load of topsoil because I needed some for gardening. We have very heavy clay soil. And that has gone to waste because it just reeked of chemicals. So we needed a source of dirt here on our property. I don't know what kind of grass this is. Whatever it is, don't plant it. It's absolutely terrible. It's really sharp and it cuts you <laughs> if you touch it. <laughs> Personal experience there. So we're building this up. Well, we being he, my husband, Dave, is building this up. It's going to be a spot for actually two tiny homes. One is basically an emergency, get her out of there as soon as possible sort of thing. But it's still got to be pretty perfect. Um... This is a serious operation, friends. I haven't done the video or the blog post yet discussing just how sick I really was before we moved in. Most people don't get that sick when it comes to latex allergies, chemical sensitivities, mast cell activation syndrome. Those who have been or are that sick understand those who haven't don't understand and that includes those with these diagnoses because people think oh gosh I can't go to Walmart my life is over it's so terrible and that's nothing friends that's nothing five to seven EpiPens a week that's serious that's serious business that was me one bath a week where your husband has to bathe you that's serious that was me not knowing whether you're going to live to move into your home that's serious that's me so that's exciting in that this is what god has planned for us next to help another canary and it's quite the adventure because it's using a lot of the knowledge that i already had before this building on the research I did previously um, so that I could hopefully live and it worked for me. So I hope it works for her. Please pray for her. Pray for her survival. Pray for her health. Pray that she is able to test products and materials and pray that we are able to do what we need to do as quickly as possible as far as the timeline that God wants and that this will be what she needs. Thanks so much for being here. Have a beautiful and blessed day, friends.